thought it would be real fitting for these two ladies to introduce the uh, 2012 recipient from our program, Billy Jones. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> I'd like to start off by saying, go teacher education. All right, that's why we're here, right, education? Okay. Billy Jo Grabsa was raised in Kennel, South Dakota, a small community that straddles the North and South Dakota border on a hilltop south of Fort Yates on the Standing Rocks Reservation. She was the oldest child born to Bill B. Healer and Jolene Marshall. In high school, Billy was on the Team North Dakota basketball team and traveled to Belgium and Ireland. After graduating from Standing Rock High School, Billy attended college in both the United States and Canada, look at that, and basketball scholarships. She continues to play independently, basketball. She participates in the occasional half marathon and is a jingle dress dancer on the powwow circuit as well. A military veteran, Billy served in the Army National Guard. While in the Guards, she was certified as an expert marksman with an M16. <laughs> no doubt a skill that still comes in handy today. <laughs> I'm just glad she's on our side. <laughs> she met her husband Anthony while in the Guards, and they had together have a son named Carter, who is a delightful young man. Uh, Billy completed her Associate of Arts and Sciences degree at the United Tribes and continues with her bachelor degree in elementary education. She has maintained nearly a 4.0 grade average and is an excellent student. Billy has maintained this level of excellence as a full-time student, a wife and a mother, an athlete, and a working part-time individual. She is a first-generation college student. Now I'll let Jolindia continue. Billy is a leader and role model for her peers on the UTTC campus. Her friends and family on the Standing Rock Reservation and American Indian woman in general. She has been a member of the Student North Dakota Education, Education Association, participated in the Yale Child Study Internship on the campus of Yale University, she has completed over 200 hours of field placement in the area tribal, public, and private elementary schools. She has completed a summer practicum in the special needs classroom for the Bismarck Public Schools and was featured in a marketing video on the American Indian College Fund website. Billy is a natural teacher and is at ease in front of an audience. Whether it is children in the classroom or adults in the conference room. Just recently, she was part of a group who represented at, um, at a state pre-service teacher conference. We are proud to present Billy Jo with the prestigious award. She has faced many challenges in her life and yet perseveres and overcomes. Facing all obst obstacles with fear, with fierce determination, a beautiful spirit, and a hearty laugh that comes from deep within her being. As you can hear her now. <laughs> she continues to nurture and care for her siblings and has an exceptionally close relationship with her Uchi in Kennel, who was a strong influence on her as she was growing up. Billy travels to Kennel on a regular basis and ma maintains strong ties and a, and a presence in her community there. She is going to be a leader in education as she is a reflective thinker, has high expe expectations for herself and others, and challenges herself to excel at whatever she attempts. Her goal is to become the teacher who can teach all children, particularly those from culturally and ability diverse backgrounds. She is highly intelligent, compassionate, and a contemporary American Indian woman who believes the future of tribal people lies in the education of its children. Billy will be graduating in May 2013. 
with a bachelor degree in elementary education and an endorsement in early childhood special education. Please help me well. Congratulate Billy Joe Grassa. My name is Billy Joe Grafsa. Uh, my friend, I greet you with a handshake with good feelings from my heart. Um, to my relatives, um, forgive me for speaking before you. Okay. <laughs> so I wasn't going to cry. Um, as you all know, this is my support system here, my mentors and my my mentors and my biggest supporters, my Unchi Maxine White Bull, my mentors uh, Lisa Azure and Leah Heyman, and my peers Kara Forbear and Valentia Begay, and my husband Anthony Anthony Gramsa, and um, I'm a I'm a mother to an only child. It's been going on five years now. I humbly receive this. I thank you, Dr. Gift and guests. Um, I thank you, and um, I would like to close with a Mohawk proverb: um, "Our children aren't ours; they are only lent to us by the Creator." And I would just like to close with that. Thank you.